Daisy, this is really quite strange. What do you make of it? Well, see, I don't think it's strange at all. I think this is exactly typical of Harry and Meghan. I mean, they practically uh, coined uh, inadvertently the term cakeism, which is, of course, the act of having your cake and eating it too. So on the one <laughs> hand, they're allowed to disparage the royals and decry the institution. But on the other hand, they go, well, of course our children will be prince and princess. I mean, we wouldn't have it any other way. And I honestly think they're just trolling at this point. They knew that they'd get a massive reaction in the media if they did the prince and princess thing and lo and behold they've done it because they love it they live for publicity despite screaming constantly about how pri how private they want their lives to be but andrew it really is so tacky of them given you know the whole ensuing situation particularly when you consider the fact that princess anne chose not to give her children royal titles because of the the pressure that that puts them under same with prince edward um it was agreed with the queen when they were born that since he was an earl they would be titled in the style of an urn that's why the lady louise Louise Windsor and James Vicomte Severn, and they're much higher, you know, much more beloved oh. royals and much higher up than Meghan and Harry. But no, and they do Princess the work. Lily it is. They do the work. And they do the work. Oh, look, it's just, well, talking about trolling, talking about trolling, Daisy, uh, uh, James, uh, they seem to have made this also a power move at the same time on the royal family by having their unofficial PR man, uh, Owen Scobie, announced that Queen, King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and Princess Catherine were all invited to the Christian House Friday, but they didn't come. I mean, seriously, I, I, well, I don't, I don't, what is it with these people? Well, I mean, Andrew, their business model is to trade on victimhood, and that's very difficult when you're amongst the most privileged people on the planet. So in order to do that, <laughs> no slight can be so small that it can't be turned into a major offence, and no inconvenience can be so trivial that it can't be turned into a breach of your human rights. So for the royals, you know, every pimple is a boil, every boil is a tumour, and every tumour is terminal.